Good morning, everybody. We're running a little bit late. That's okay, because we're still making it on time. But today, we're going to autocross. And it's in Zoe, which actually, last video, we just installed some new coilovers on the car. So we're gonna get to see how they handle today. I'm also pretty excited because this is the first cold start I get to hear in the garage. Which, by the way, I bought a house. Well, car is tech now, got everything done, camera situated. Now, all that's left is to go walk the track. We're probably gonna end up helping set up, so I can't really film the track much. But um, it's a very similar layout to the last event that we were at. Extremely similar, like if you look at the GPS course, it's gonna look the exact same. The only difference is that there's gonna be a little bit different cone set up, so not as many slaloms, more like in and out of some turns and you know, you'll see. I can't really describe it, but you'll see what I'm talking about. But anyways, one thing I will note is that last video we installed the max speeding rod coilovers. As we were driving here today, and the more that I've been driving the car, it feels like the springs are actually settling. The car is not as bouncy as it was before. It's starting to feel like a proper coilover setup, like you would expect. Still not as stiff as I would like, but it's definitely better. So I'll take note of that and see if it, they uh, they perform. Damn, this thing's fucking clean. Very nice ride. Thank you. Sounds great. Thank you. Thank you. I appreciate that. Anyways, let's walk the course and uh, we'll start driving. Damn, everybody's going so slow. Something I didn't get to mention yet is that the R1 concept brake pads and rotors that are on the car. Yesterday I took the car out for a little bit more driving, did some hard braking, and they actually got noticeably um, more aggressive, I guess. That'll just be the easiest way to put it. So we got new brakes and new coilovers. Neither of them have been tested yet. Now I say this every single time that we get ready to run for the first time. We're going, quit laughing, <laughs> quit laughing. Okay, let me finish my statement first. We're going slow. For the first pass, you're supposed to learn the course. So we're going slow, at least as slow as possible. But I am a firm believer that on your first pass, you should also be pretty aggressive with it so you can understand how the car is gonna res respond to uh, certain turns and things like that. So, wow, it is hot in here. I need to put a fan in here or something. Like a fan hanging from the window, just facing me with a mister or something, that'd be nice. This is gonna be an interesting course because it's not not the same as the other one. All right, here we go. This car is handling very interestingly. This is very strange. It's a little bouncy. It's a little bouncy. It's definitely bouncy. 3689. You writing that down? Yeah. Awesome. Sarah's my timekeeper. She's been my timekeeper for like the last one or two videos. Yeah, I get down to the 34s at least. 34s? Yeah, we can definitely go a lot faster. Alright. Holy. Jesus, dude, it is hot today. This is gonna be a little bit harder of a course for me to actually go like super hard on, but because of the heat from the sun, it should also help with the tires getting hot, where I've always had issues with that, especially because these tires are a little bit older. But, it's hot. Yeah. Oh, the silencer came out. Lovely. It's actually, I found this out earlier, underneath where the silencer bolts to the exhaust, it's actually bending the tip of the exhaust. Ah, oh, looks like we got her passenger. Okay, What's so up, dude? Hey, am I allowed? Yeah. This is a first. 
What's that? This is a first. Yeah. So for your feet, just make sure they stay on that metal plate and you'll be good. I'll hook that up in a second. So the coilovers are a little bit bouncy, but um, I think they're manageable. I don't think it's a bad thing so far. And it is, it's hot in here, so just a heads up. Yeah. yeah. Oh my god, it is hot in here. I missed my AC. All right, here we go. getting a little bit more predictable 3529 3529 <sighs> I am definitely going to need some water after this dude that S10 in front of us is so fucking cool <laughs> god I love that truck so much okay round three Let's try and get a little bit more consistent with the throttle Five two five four. There are some people here running down in the 32s, close to the 30s. I gotta figure out where we can pick up more time. I know we can get some more time in the first little the C loop right there. I'm slowing down entering it. I know I can get more speed going into that. The slalom, I might be able to get a little bit faster. Definitely, of course, it's not letting me get up in uh, higher RPMs or higher speeds, and that's where the car truly benefits. Did I break it? Uh oh, it got stuck. That's not good. No, that's not good. Well, you want to climb out that way? I mean, I will, or do you want me to NASCAR it? No, huh? Do you want me to NASCAR it? No, I mean, you don't have to. Yeah, I think the door, the door came out. It got stuck? Yeah, the door got stuck. I'm sorry. No, it's not your fault. It's just an old car. My GoPro keeps turning off. I don't know why. No, it's not good. All right, maybe on this one I can go a little bit, a little bit faster. This one's gonna be more of a sin. Here we go. I feel bad, Sarah's like a dog trapped in a car. She can't get out because the door's broken. Okay, here we go. Wow, it is hot in here. Jesus. That's so much better. Is that better? 
trying to get you some air. A second. It's it's fucking hot in here, dude. It really is. I haven't even been sitting in here like she is, but like from the windshield and everything being metal on the inside. It's just cool. Sounds like you missed a gear. Yeah, if you got your car, be prepared for the summer because it gets fucking hot whenever you got nothing but metal inside of your car. It's intense. Are you surviving? Yep. Are you gonna die? Maybe. Maybe? Don't slow down if I pass out. Oh, I won't. This is about, this is pretty comparable to sitting in a sauna. Like, it's about the same. On the bright side, though, the car is not overheating. The car is doing great. Here we go. Okay. You just brake so hard. That felt like a pretty good one. 35.6. It's not a bad one back into it. 35.6. 35.6. Last time we got a whole second faster. I think I can pick up a second. I can definitely get faster. What's this? Run number six. Run number six out of eight. Here we go. <laughs> That had to be in 33s. That was easily the there, but close. 34.5. Fuck! <laughs> God damn it! 34.5. Ah, 34.5. Need to get out. Okay. It's really hard to explain because the car is like walking. Like as you're turning, because it's, it's bouncing, to... it feels like it's spread out, like doing this. Yeah, that's how to walk I'm forward. Going. Going back out. Maximum effort. We moving. Ammo blammo. What? 100%, 100%. All the cheese. We're making all the biscuits. All the biscuits right here. It's real unfortunate because my GoPro keeps turning off, so I have no idea when it starts and stops recording. Hopefully I'm not missing a bunch of runs. Worst case, I got that GoPro that's recording. God damn it, it's fucking hot. Holy shit, I'm getting mad just by how hot it is. Uh-oh. That's not good. Camaro's not starting. Holy shit, it's hot. You good? One last run. That's hot. Yeah. Yeah. Ah, my car starts up. All right, we're recording. Hopefully the GoPro doesn't die. 
Here we go, last run of the day. Here we go, here we go. Four, four, three. I got back in the 34s.